Hello and welcome to episode 4 of the Z Huts How to Build Android Apps with MIT App Inventor 2. In episode 4 today, we are going to be covering how to use sliders and also how to display the value of that slider in a label. Now, um, we're up to episode four now, and we've covered a few things. Um, we've only actually built one app, and that was episode two. We built the sound effects app. Now, we are going to build another basic app today. This one doesn't have much practicality to it. It's just helping you to learn how to use these components to use with the app that uh, you are looking to build. So we are going to be using a slider. And then also, normally I've been showing you how to use labels as spacers. Now, in this tutorial, we are going to look at how to display a value in a label. And you're going to find this to be very useful. All right, well, let's just get right into it. All right, of course, we got, uh, <coughs> mm, sorry about that. We got MIT App Inventor 2 brought up. So, of course, we go to projects and start a new project. Um, I, once again, am just going to call this Z-Hut. All right, let's bring it up. And here we are at our MIT App Inventor interface for the designer um i'm not gonna use the layouts the arrangements on this um in the last video we dealt with arrangements but you could use arrangements with this to have like the slider over here and then uh the label over here to display the value but uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to have a slider that goes across pretty much the whole screen, side to side. And then we're going to have a label up here. And that's going to display the value that the slider is positioned at. All right. So, uh, well, I guess first, let's just set up our screen. Uh... Let's set horizontal and vertical to center. Background image. Oh, what the heck. Let's throw an image up on there. I'm going to try a different one. I'm going to do my blue background image for this video. There we go. That's brought up. Um, the icon. You would, of course, want to put your icon in there and... If you've been following my videos, you know what to do there. I'm not going to be releasing this, so I'm not going to go into putting the icon in there. Screen orientation, yes, I am going to put that at portrait. And I do normally run most of my apps at portrait. Um, scrollability, we're not going to use that. Uh, title visibility, no. Status bar, no. All right. Hey, we're ready to rock and roll. All right. First, we want to go over, left click, and drag in a label. There we go. Now, let's... um. We want to have this actually have a background color so we can see it. So we're going to go to white. There we go. Now you can see it shows up good. Height. Um, we're going to make this actually pretty big. We're going to go 25. Um, width. We're going to leave the width automatic. So it will select the width automatically. Uh, actually, I am going to do the height a little more. I'm going to go... 35 so it's a good height um text alignment i'm going to center that 
So that should be good. Yeah, everything's looking good there. All right. Next, we need to pull in a label. Now, we are going to use a label to display the value, but we are pulling in another label as a spacer because below this, we're going to put our slider, and we don't want the slider and the label stacked on top of each other. So we're going to do height. Uh, let's just go 20 pixels. That should be good. Yeah, that's not bad. Width doesn't matter uh, the text for it. No, we got to delete that. Of course. Okay. And uh, of course, rename that SP1. That's our spacer one. Now, our label one, we're going to leave that saying label one. Um, you could rename it um, like data output or slider output whatever you want to i do recommend naming your stuff so you know what it is when you're going back through and trying to troubleshoot things as you're building apps it does come in handy doing that but this is going to be a pretty basic app we're putting together so label one i'm just going to leave that because we're only going to have one label Next, we're going down and we're selecting and dragging in, left click, drag in our slider, put it at the bottom. Width, do not fill the parent. Um, if you do, what happens is it's at the extremes on both sides. And when you use your finger on your Android device, you're not going to be able to actually put it at the minimum or the maximum. It just runs out of room. You want to keep it a little less than that. Um, so we're going to try, I think 250 will that work? Good? Oh, we could actually go a little more than 250. Let's try 300. There we go. That's not at the absolute ends. And you can see there is a little space. It is still close to the edges. You might have a little trouble. So I'm going to go 275. I think that'll work out perfect. There we go. Now you'll be able to swipe your finger on the slider and not reach the ends of your screen. So you'll be able to actually set this at the maximum or the minimum. All right, next, we got to set our maximum and minimum. Let's do our maximum. Let's do 1,000. Our minimum, zero. Thumb enabled, you want that to be enabled. Otherwise, when you swipe your finger, it won't do anything. The only reason you'd want to have thumb enabled, not enabled, is if you want something else to be activated in the app where you click a button or something, and then when you click that button, it will actually enable the um, slider. And that is something that uh, we will be covering in a future episode um, on how to uh, enable things when they're not enabled once the app first starts. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, just leave it at enabled for now, and we will be covering that in a further episode. Now, there are two other things. We have our colors. These are the colors that the slider shows to the left, and the slider the color shows to the right. I'm going to change these. I don't want them just orange and white. Let's have... The slider to the left will be black, and anything to the right, well, let's just go white, black and white. So when the slider moves, if you move it, everything to the left of the slider is going to be black. Everything to the right of the slider will be colored white on the slider bar. Um... No, I don't have the emulator running. I'm so I'm not going to run the emulator on here. I don't really see a point in doing it. And I would actually prefer 
you're trying to learn this run emulator. And right now you can just hit down, oh, excuse me, not build, connect, and hit AI companion. And I do have my tablet actually set up right now. Um, I'm not going to bother connecting because for this tutorial, build the app and then try it out for yourself. I'm not going to show you how it looks. I'm going to leave that to you. I'm going to show you how to do this and then I'm going to leave it up to you to build it or connect. And uh, if you don't have that, you just build it. Save APK to your computer right now and then upload it to your Android device and you can see how the slider works. All right. So we have this all set up. We get the width set up, the max value, the minimum value, the thumb is enabled. Thumb position, no, that would be at 30. When the app starts up, this is the position that the slider will be at. So when this app starts up, I want it to be at zero, or you could run it at 1,000, the maximum, or you could run it right in the middle. We're just going to do zero. And that means the slider is going to be all the way to the left when you start it up. If you put the thumb position to 1,000, because we have the max value 1,000, the thumb position or the slider is going to be all the way to the right. Hope that makes sense to you. I really do. I'm pretty sure it does. All right. Um, See, I think we can get over to the blocks editor now and start finishing up building this app. Um, well, we did have the label. Um, you could increase the font size if you wanted a little, because I made this a little big. But um, it's going to work for this, and you can change around and play with the font size. If you get too big of a font size for the height and width, of the box you have what you'll see is you only see part of the text you like see the top half or the top three quarters or you might only see just a little bit of the top depending how small you have the box corresponding to your font size i'm going to leave that to you to play with because that's one thing i'm going to tell you to play with things a lot in these tutorials because that is going to help you learn you do need to play with these things. I'm giving you the information and help get you started quicker than what I had when I started, where I just went into this program with nothing and learned it all by trial, error, and playing. And playing with it is going to help you big time. I'm going to show you a lot, but I do still want you to play with things because that is how you are going to learn all right, well, with that, let's go over to the Blocks Editor and set this up. So we have our slider. We want to click on that. And then the very top one, when slider one position changes, what we want to do is go down and uh, there's our label. And we want to find set label text to. Let's see, it might take me a moment to find it. Uh, there we go. Set label one text to. Bring that in. Then go back to our slider. Left click on that. And then we want a slider position or thumb position, excuse me. There we go. To thumb position. Bam. Now, compile this, build it, um, upload it to your uh, Android device, or use the companion, connect. Um, just connect it, and you are going to see, I'm going to go back to the designer. I'm not going to actually set up um, the camera to show you my tablet it working it does work 
Um, it does. And you're going to find out in a moment, once you put this on your tablet, it's going to work. And what's going to happen when you move the slider bar, and it will look different than this. It'll be a slider that goes across the screen, and it'll be that size. And it's going to be black to the left, um, white to the right, and you're going to have your gray little slider, and you just use your thumb on it, move it back and forth, and what you are going to see in this text box right here, actually it's not a text box, excuse me, I'm sorry about that, it's a label, and what it's going to do is display the value that the slider is at in this label. Now before I forget, we did forget to delete the text for the label. We don't need that. And we left it at the width automatic, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change this just a little. I'm going to put it in 100. 100 is going to be more than enough to display a character between 0 and 1,000 without a problem. It's going to show. Otherwise, you could leave it at um, automatic. Um, that's another thing. Play around with it. And you're going to keep hearing me say this. Play around with it. This is how you're going to learn how to use MIT App Inventor. In these tutorials, I am going to go through and show you different things and get you started how to do it. But I am going to leave a lot of this to let you to play around with it. And that is how you are going to learn it. If I just tried to show you everything, and this is this, this is that, you're not really going to learn anything. I'm just giving you tips, tricks, and this is how to get started to do it, then play with it. All right. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry about that again. Um, yeah, that's um, how we're going to be going on these uh, tutorials. So play with it. Um, with that, I think we could wrap this tutorial up. I know this one's a little shorter than the others, and I just wanted to get you started showing you how to use the slider and then um, use the label. Um, I haven't quite figured out what the next tutorial is going to be. Um, I will probably be doing it tomorrow, so by then I'll have it figured out. And I will be putting one up again. So, hey, make sure you subscribe. And I hey, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it big time. Uh, I really would. Uh, with that, I think we'll wrap this up. Um, like I said, this was just a real quick tutorial. And this is some easy stuff to go over. Just using the slider and then setting the uh, label to display the value. Um, and I'm not sure what the next one will be, so I guess uh, just stay tuned and you'll find out. So with that, thank you for joining us here at the Z-Hut. I hope you have a great day, and remember, have fun building your apps.